understand what happened on that fateful night in Las Vegas, we not only need to learn more about Orlando Anderson, we also need to learn more about Tupac. How could someone so seemingly streetwise as Tupac not understand what he was setting in motion when he attacked a known Southside Crip like Orlando Anderson? I knew Tupac from the Baltimore School for the Arts. After his death, all the people wanted to hear about was his the thug life. The thug years. But when you talk to people who knew him like as I knew him, his life will be put into a different context. Some people are not familiar with who Tupac really was. It's very important that people get his legacy right. After Tupac's stepfather, Matulu Shakur, was implicated in a Brinks robbery in New York City, he then went on the run. Tupac's mother, Afeni, was having a difficult time finding work to support her family. She decided to move to Baltimore, where she had friends. Baltimore has the highest rate of teenage pregnancy, the highest rate of AIDS within the um, black community, the highest rate of um, teens killing teens, and the highest rate of teenage suicide, and the highest rate of blacks killing blacks in Baltimore, Maryland. And this is where we chose to live. At that particular time, crack cocaine was becoming ridiculous in Baltimore. His mother was starting to have a drug problem. I'm not going to take anything away from Afeni, but Tupac, well, he wasn't a caregiver, but he had to go get his sister from where she was at. His mother not going to go get his, Tupac going to get sexual. He would go to Truxton's house, pick sexual up. Truxton was an active in the neighborhood. He was president of the Northeast Community Organization, I mean neighborhood. Tupac would come talk to him about helping him get Afeni off of the hard drugs. Not the marijuana, the hard drugs. Dealing with the reality that your mother is using drugs and this is your hero. That's something that Tupac didn't really want to talk about too much. Pac's way of handling that situation was to get the up out of it. Excuse my French. Tupac came to live with us. Tupac and my brother were kind of like brothers. Every night would be something different. I mean, I remember very clearly one night he was going on about the Tupac Shakur show. The Tupac Shakur show starring Tupac Shakur with my special guest, Tupac Shakur. And he just was going on and on. And the rest of us were just exhausted having worked a full day. And there he was just going on about the Tupac Shakur show. <laughs> Once he got into the School of the Arts, he was able to, you know, spread his wings. It gave him some hope, some life. And the story behind this painting came about because one day I asked Tupac, what type of actor do you want to be? And he just immediately replied, a Shakespearean actor. In order to do Shakespeare, Tupac said you had to be the very best in order to attempt the material. So I made a joke about it. I said, you know what, man? I picture you in ruffle collars and tights. As I'm sketching him, I told Tupac that I would call the painting Shakur Speed. It was just one of those moments where so he really expressed to me his love for Shakespeare. That's who Tupac was. His acting, his craft, his, his art. What's up, y'all? My name is Darren Keith Best. And I'm Dana Mouse Man Smith. And we are Born, Born Busy. busy no doubt. And we're doing a film called Born Busy based on my book, Back in the Day, My Life and Times with Tupac Shakur. Now, everybody's seen countless documentaries yes. and TV shows yes. about Pac. Yes. They've been very informational, but... Yeah, but none of them talked about the years that we were a part Yeah, it's of. teenage years. This is why we're producing a film called Born Busy, which is a coming-of-age story about our younger years in Baltimore with Tupac. We believe that those are our years of development, focus, and purpose. Which is the yeah. most important years of all our lives. Yes, this is. film is going to give you a fresh perspective of the Tupac that we knew that you Yo, never met. After seeing this film, you're going to understand Pac yes. a little bit more than you and used And you know to. what? We can't wait to Yo, show I'm you. I'm so excited about But like any show. great artistic project, it needs support. Yeah. So we're urging you to go to support us by going to becomeapatron.com. Yeah. We got hat, we got, got the gear, merch, we got everything. Born busy, y'all. Peace. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out.